On occasion, you may go to the properties of a folder or a file or some other location, and instead of seeing a user, you might see this account unknown. And then that's followed by a series of letters and numbers, which stands for the security ID of a user. And this happens a lot of times because a user gets deleted, but it doesn't get deleted from the properties of that folder. So let me show you how to find out who that account belonged to. I'm on a server, although you can also do this from a client workstation where you have administrator rights. And you're going to type in WMIC, followed by the user account, get name, and then the security ID. So what this does is it takes the security ID and it tells you whose name that was originally assigned to. And so you can see all these different particular security IDs and the original name that was created. So if you're wondering whether it was maliciously created or not, then this will tell you. Now, if you don't see a name that is listed with the security ID, then you could have some sort of name corruption. And again, it's probably not a malicious type of thing. You can simply highlight the user that you found in the folder and just delete it. Now, if it says that you can't delete it because of uh, an inherited permission, then just go to the folder above that and delete it from there. So that is how you find out about the security ID and its associated name on a Windows server.